everybody, welcome back to my channel Sewing Bunny. My name's Michelle and in today's video I would like to share with you my new Make 9 plans for 2020. Um, some of you may have seen that um, I did an update on my 2019 uh, Make 9, how I got on with that. So I will link that down below if anyone hasn't seen that and would like to view that. So for uh, the Make 9 challenge, um, for those of you that uh, don't know about it, I, I use the term challenge very loosely. It, it's more of a target, um, if you would like to set yourself for the coming year, of nine patterns that uh, you would like to make for that year. Um, I did it last year and I didn't end up making three of the nine, so um, I didn't feel bad about that. It was just, you know, how I you know, ended up uh, making my, my sewing plans. But um, I do quite like having the goal of having some patterns and kind of having it there to, to kind of see like, you know, yes, will I get round to making that? So for me personally, I really enjoy uh, the little mini challenge aspect of it. Um, so yes, uh, today also I'm wearing um, a Sew Over It Molly Top t-shirt. This is probably one of my most worn items <laughs> uh, that I've made uh, last year. Uh, it's getting a little bit bobbly now. The fabric's from Fabricland that I got uh, early on, I think, in 2019. Um, but yeah, I love this t-shirt. Uh, but yes, anyway, moving on to the, uh, the Make 9. I will insert the grid um, on there so you can see exactly all the ones that I'll be talking about. So if we start from the top left, um, we're starting off with the Sew House 7 toaster sweater. Uh, I do know this is quite a popular pattern. I've seen quite a lot of versions uh, around on Instagram um, of it. Um, I'm quite new to making uh, jumpers. I, I made the Linden sweatshirt a few months back and I really liked that pattern. So I'd really like to get more jumpers kind of, you know, um, uh, under my belt. and. <laughs> Um, and get on those. So um, I saw the, the toaster sweater and I thought that'd be really nice. There's a couple of different versions I think that the pattern has. So I quite like the, uh, there's like a kind of a funnel neck um, version with, I think it might have a slight dipped hem as well. So I'd quite like to try that. So uh, yes, that's the first one on the Make 9. And the second one uh, on the Make 9 is the True Bias Lander Pants. And um, for this one, I was thinking of doing the shorts version. Um, I do like a high waist um, trouser, so I really like the look of these ones. And I thought the shorts would be quite good because I could wear them for summer. And if I get on well with those, then I could maybe make the trouser version. Um, I haven't made a great deal of trousers, um, especially ones with a, uh, a fly fastening. Um, I've made one zip fly, which it really didn't go very well um, and uh, this has the zip fly and button fly option and I do quite like the look of the button fly so might give that one a go and uh, third on the list is the uh, closet case patterns Carolyn pajamas um, I have the pattern for this and I've had it for quite a while um, I keep meaning to uh, to get around and making it but I haven't and I really would like to make some this year. I've got some nice uh, cottons and uh, cotton flannels, brushed cottons, and I think it would be really nice for this pattern. So um, yeah, fingers crossed, hopefully I can get around to making that one. Okay, so next line down um, is the Morris Blazer from Grain Line Studio. Um, I love the look of this little blazer. Um, it's all um, uh, knit as well, knit fabric. So a ponte or something like that. Um, I thought that would be really good for work, um, just to kind of chuck on, be really, really comfortable, even just with a basic little vest top or t-shirt underneath. I think it would look really nice and stylish. Okay, next up is the uh, Misty Cami by So Altered. And uh, this one, I really like the look of this one. Um, I'm quite a fan of the um, True Bias Ogden cami. And this looks a little bit similar. And I really wanted to try a different type of cami top. And this one I really like the look of because it's got the detail, which is like a cross back. Um, and I thought that was really, really nice. And uh, so yes, I'm really looking forward to making that one. That'll be really good for in the summer. We can use um, small amounts of fabric for it. So I've got quite a few little scraps that I might be able to use up for that one. 
Okay, and next up is the Friday Pattern Company Adrian blouse. Um, this one, again, I've seen loads of versions of it over Instagram. It looks really, really nice. Um, it's got this lovely kind of like puff sleeve. Um, and uh, again, it's using um, a knit fabric, so I can hopefully make it all up on the overlocker. <laughs> um, but I love the, um, the, the look of the puff sleeve on there, and it just looks really nice. I think it would be really good to wear to work as well. Um, and really comfortable. So yeah, fingers crossed I can I can get around to making that one. Okay, and the final line, um, we start off with the Experimental Space Rosalie dress. I love this one. I keep saying I love them or what I do. <laughs> um, but this one I really like the look of. It's got such a nice detail. Um, at the back, there's like a little triangular cutout and it's so, so nice. I love the look of it, and um, I haven't made myself a maxi dress, and I think that would be so good for, for the summertime, um, and um, I've got some viscoses or crepes that I could probably use for it. Um, I do actually own the pattern for this one, and just to say, I think that I love the artwork of it. <laughs> so this is the, the Rosalie dress, and um, as you can see on there, you can see there's the little, the cutout, there which um, I really like the look of so yes uh, that one yes high priority for summer I think that one <laughs> and um, then next along is the Tilly and the Buttons indigo dress so this is a um, somewhat new pattern that, that Tilly released um, last year and I know it's proven to be really really popular and uh, I love the look of it I think it would just be such a nice make for the summer um, I don't know if I'd do the dress version or just the top version. I might start out with the top version, see how I get on, and then see if I want to make the dress version. Um, but I love the look of it, and I think it would just be so comfy just to like float around in. <laughs> and then um, last on the list is the Megan Nielsen um, Acacia Pants. So even though it's probably not the most exciting make, um, I've got a lot of jersey scraps and I would really like to put those to use. Um, I've got quite a few pieces and um, I think if I just purchase some uh, PK elastic, um, I can make these. Um, I've made um, the Stitch Upon a Time Bunsy pattern for some pole shorts and things. So um, I think it should be really, really easy to do. Um, the pattern is also free. If you sign up to Megan Nielsen's um, newsletter, you can get this pattern for free. And I think anyone who wants to use any scraps, um, then I think this would be a perfect pattern. So hopefully I can get around to making some of those and use up some of those scraps in my stash. <laughs> Okay, so that is my Make 9 plans. Um, please share with me if you've got any Make 9 plans or how you feel about the, uh, the challenge. And um, yes, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, my handle is sewing.bunny. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel for more uh, updates and sewing bits, then please do. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye.